Hello, everybody, and something different this time because the recording, because of technical difficulties on this machine, did not work. Um, well, was not started uh, for the 3D Speed Monza race, which I was participating in. So your usual Mio on board did not happen. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to watch the replay. And I'm going to walk you through it and get some contact because also the Saturday race didn't happen. Right now, the Mio on board series, kind of cursed. But here we go. So this is Monza. And I'm um, starting from 18th place. The field is really, really tight, actually. Um, despite starting from 18th, I was closer to pole position in terms of Delta than I was at Barcelona, where I started from 11th place. So that gives you an idea of how tight things are right now. Uh, I've got John Archie beside me, although currently behind me. John, where are you? Come on, John. Get your car up here. Um, he's starting in 17th place. And uh, we got uh, Scott Johnston, Jeremy Reeder. And we're off in the spray, in the wet here at Monza. And let's see what we can do here. So heading into the first corner, there's a, usually a good chance to make up some ground. And I'm going to do that a little bit here. Uh, I am going to get past Jeremy Reader. There he is in the BMW coming in there. Cliff Hemian. Uh, I didn't actually notice that somebody is very sideways there. That is one of the McLaren 720s. Um, my guess is it's probably Zach Martin. Yeah, I was going to say. No one else really has that kind of color scheme. Uh, I give Scott Johnson a little bit of a bump here. And unfortunately, things are going to get worse between the two of us. Because as we go into Curva Grande here for the first time... Uh, I am going to kind of come over onto him here and make contact. I am expecting we will probably get, I will probably get a penalty for this. Let's put it into TV mode for a hot second here. Um, in my defense, I think he could have held a tighter line. I think he is kind of coming up into me, but you know what? It's probably going to be reviewed on the stewarding video. So we'll save, we'll save my, uh, we'll save my thoughts there. Um, I'm expecting, and I expected like the entire time, probably a tier one penalty would, uh, come my way. So into Raja for the first time here, I'm trailing, uh, my teammate Ayrton Arsenault, as well as Mark Sutherland. I was going to say, it's one of the BMW M4s up there. And, uh, it's been a good start. I mean, I'm up from 18th to 13th place. That's really solid. Uh, not really anything I specifically did, just some... Minor mess-ups from other people. Arsenal going off the track there. And I think I'm going to get him here on the lead-up to Variante Ascari. I was a bit of a weird one. I was kind of tempted to stay behind him because I knew he was running a short field strategy. He was going for an undercut. Which meant that at this point in the race, he was probably faster than me in, like, a better place. Uh, lower tire wear, higher fuel, or lower uh, fuel to weigh the car down. Get a little bit wrong there to Ascari, but it's okay. It happens. And then we move on to... Uh, heading towards Parabolica. Let's speed this up a little bit. We'll put it at two times speed because the, the sound still works. Uh, I think at three times speed we lose the sound. And uh, both me and Aaron did horribly fuck up there. Uh, I think he was using me as a braking reference and I broke too late. Uh, we both ended up going off there. Jeremy Reader almost got a two for one, but he uh, couldn't quite make it work. All right, into Redifilio again. Continuing on, I got the two BMWs of the two Sutherlands in front of me battling at this point, Mark and Neil. Interesting enough, um, I don't know if it's going to come through in the replay, but I, I thought that a couple of my overtaking attempts on the Sutherlands was kind of thwarted by the fact that they, I, I, and I'm not saying this intentionally, but they kind of blocked the track because I think when you're communicating, probably on voice, uh, and there's Marcel Letelier off, um, you're being super cautious and giving each other room. And because the BMWs are, you know, big, fat cars... Uh, let's get in the cockpit here. Um, you know, it's hard to overtake them. I think I think an example of that is going to kind of come up here at Parabolica. Or maybe... No, I think it's next lap. But I think there's a there's a moment where I think about going for a move on Sutherland. And I really can't make it. Ayrton Arsenault in behind me. Is he in... I am surprised that that livery is so white from the front. He's in the, um... The American, like eagle livery thing um and it's very white from the front always looks like it's like that asian like all white car uh audi yeah here it is kind of like they go side by side and i'm like you know if if mark's not to the inside there i could probably try and make a move there 
but we end up not being able to do it. Ended up having to take a ever so slight evasive action. Disappointing thing about the replay, of course, is it's not going to show uh, when the pit stops come into play, but I don't think it's going to be a problem with talking about um, where we're going here. So we continue on, continuing on, into Parabolic again. This time I more or less get it right, although a little bit of over, over rotation there. Um, the wet really actually helping me out in this race because the Audi around this track is not great. Oh, that's uh, Robert Arzumanian uh, rejoining the race uh, from the pit lane. So he pitted early. Ayrton Arsenal looked like he had a problem in the background. Wonder if that'll come to the stewards. So I'm behind the two Sutherlands here, as well as a uh, shout out to Connor Constantini, who qualified real high in the BMW. He was one of the back markers at Barcelona that I ended up fighting after I got my speeding in the pit lane penalty. So to see him up in the top 10, and like any bronze driver in the top 10 for like a, <laughs> a pretty long period of time, very impressive. So I will tip my headphones to you because I lack a hat. So if he's watching this, hopefully. He Hopefully he takes that that uh, that compliment in the spirit that it is uh, given. He's the green BMW. I think it's a green BMW. It might be a blue BMW. Or Bentley, pardon me. Green Bentley or blue Bentley. Uh, it's a CMR car. Um, I know that much. It's the blue one. Yeah. The green one's Tom Laws. I'll, I'll at some point get that through my head. Um, so the Sutherlands have problems there. I think Connor made a mistake. Uh, I'd say Caster's Curse, but this is, you know... Not a cast. This is not live. This is a replay file. Slow it down here because I'm going to get past Connor somewhat soon. I still have Ayrton Arsenault on my tail as well as John Archie. Marcel Letelier is, I think, a fair ways back. Yeah, there it is. 9.3 seconds back. Uh, if you see over here on the timing tower. So he's 9.3 he's nine seconds behind John Archie. So about 12, 13 seconds behind me overall. So it's really just Archie and Arsenault who are chasing me. At this point, I'm assuming I'm getting a uh, like a penalty, probably 5 to 10 seconds. So I know that I'm kind of like behind them. So if either of them were to come up on me, I think I wouldn't really fight uh, terribly hard. Ayrton, because he's my teammate, and Archie, because I don't see myself racing John Archie, really. Because he's a, you know, he's a higher-rated driver. I can't remember if he's gold or platinum off the top of my head, but it's the silvers I really want to fight with. And the next silver behind me is Simeon Naku, who's quite a ways back. But Mark Sutherland at this point is the top silver. So I'm looking at I thought I got past Constantini a lot faster, but I mean, I guess, you know, having a night of sleep and making myself breakfast has dulled me to the experience at this point. So let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, here it is. Okay, right. He fucks up at Red Filio. Kind of wondering how much room do I give him here? Let's pop out the TV cam here real, real quick. Um, because I felt a little bit bad, like I was maybe cutting him off here, but no, he's not rejoining anytime soon. Okay, so I think, I think that's entirely fair. And it's back to heading off against the Sutherlands. So here we go. Uh, that's 11th place, by the way, after starting 18th. So doing quite well. Through Raji again. Monza tends to be a reasonably happy hunting ground for me. Uh, uh, and the wet, I think, really helps me out in this. Because I think inherently I'm a slightly more cautious driver than most. I don't explore the curbs and track limits nearly to the extent that I see a lot of other people do. And I'm not saying that is a good thing. Just a observation. It's part of what makes them faster than me. But that means that my normal line needs less differential when it's wet because I'm not I'm not going into those deep puddles on the outside. I'm not going onto the wet curves. And it's reducing my my risk factor, my chances of actually having a problem. So there is that. And uh still after Mark Sutherland here with Neil Sutherland and newcomer Mike Landry up ahead. Uh, Matt Higgs Sandro Cortese, Dominic Turcott, William Murrah, Dan French, Max Simmons at the front of the pack. Now, this is one of those races where um, normally I rag on Max Simmons about staying out way too long, but I think in this case, it's actually the right move because you can't 
see it on the replay here. But from the start of the race, uh, the 30 minute mark was supposed to get less rain, which meant that we were going to get a track change from <clears throat> definitely not to dry. But the chances of getting a damp track was in the back of my head. So I wanted to go as long as possible to get as much data to make the decision on the tire pressures. Like, I knew I was going to put wets on again, the idea of putting dries on, not really in the play. But I would have the ability to adjust the pressures to suit the fact that the track is going to get warmer, it's going to get less wet, and so on. And that's going to greatly affect the, the positions. Um, so, I don't do a super great job of it, but I wonder if a lot of people did. Because there were a couple of people that really turned the, pre turned the, the pressure on um, later on in the race. And I wonder if they really, really aced those pressures and got it right. Through Roshi, or through uh, Scari again, still chasing Sutherland. Oh, somebody died. That's uh, that's Michael Landry in the two C's McLaren who uh, went off the track. And I'm still going, still going. You can see there's a lot of race to go still at this point. Kind of like, I, I kind of disappointed that the timer is not here to tell the minute count. Because that's what you would have. This is a this is a time race of 40 minutes, not a uh, lap count race of 20, 21, I think it's 21 laps, 22 laps maybe. Um, that you can see there on the timeline. Really wish the replay interface was a little bit different. Um... One, I would really love it if the pit lay, if the pit intro, uh, stuff was there. Like if you see this little green bar here, that's a pit stop is done. But of course, that's taking it from the fact that it's got uh, the end race um, data. Um, at this point, some people have pitted. We saw Arzumian, for example, in the pits. I assume, uh, I assume Benjamin Adamian's been in the pits, and Michael Landry's in the pits now. Maybe Zach Martin as well. Uh, probably Arsenal. Um, so, like, probably, like, 17th back at this point have pitted. And the top 16 or so have not. There's just not enough gaps there to suggest that someone's pitted. I mean, there is, I guess, a big bat, uh, gap forming kind of like where Reader is. But I don't think he's pitted. Um, and I say this because I remember Tom Waz is one of the last ones to pit. And he's behind Reader. Uh, drive through penalty for William Murrah. Um, not sure what that would be for. I would imagine a track cut penalty. Because if you speed in the pit lane, you get a stop go. So it wouldn't be that. Um, I could have sworn when I was racing, though, that it did say speeding in the pit lane. But it's only a drive through penalty. So that, that can't work. It must, be a it must be track cut. I can't think of what else it would be. So continuing on, I've got the Sutherland still ahead of me. I'm moving up through the field, but it's just pit stops coming to play outside of... Um, I think at this point I'm legitimately in the top 10. Uh, when I passed Michael Landry, I think I became a top 10 car. But, like, Murrah's pitted. Um, Simmons... Simmons is in the pits? I don't think Simmons... No way Simmons is in the pits. He's like Mr. Super Late Pit. And on a wet day, he went early. Or, um, not that early. We're like, we're over halfway through the race, but earlier than I would have guessed. Um, also in the pits, Dan French has been to the pit lane. So up ahead of me, it's now Turcotte, Cortese, Higgs, and the Sutherlands. And at this point, I'm starting to think about the pit stop, I think. Um, I ran basically until I had less than a lap of fuel what I got to the pit window. I probably, I like, if I had stretched it, I could have gotten another lap in. But yeah, I would not go any further than that uh, on pit, on fuel. Because I, I, you're risking running out of fuel there. And I, I was having a good race uh, at this point. Shown in the top five, but again, I think I'm still more or less like 10th place at this point. So I don't think that's there. Uh, who's that ahead of me? That is Johnston. Okay. So that's Scott Johnston. He's the guy I pushed off at the start of the race. Again, probably getting a penalty for that. There's one other one that I kind of do want to look at. 
that might be a that might be a penalty. Let's see if we can get past Johnston here into Parabolica. Oh, caught him a little bit there. Let's have a look at that. That would be. I don't think it'd be a penalty, but it might be. Um, that's that's probably the best view. Okay, so into Parabolica we go. It's kind of a, it's kind of the same, it's kind of the reverse of what we were before with me on the inside, him on the outside. I think, I'll, I think that probably will be fine. But, um, <clears throat> that is kind of why, um, sometimes you should utilize, like, there's no, there's no reason to go side by side into Parabolica when it's a blue flag scenario. You should really just break early and let the guy through because it's always inherently more dangerous to allow a blue flag through on a turn than it is a straightaway, particularly if it's wet. Because um, people are going to be going wider into Parabolica. Like, if you watch me through Parabolica this whole time, I don't think I get what you would call a clean run through Parabolica the entire time. And I think a lot of other people weren't getting entirely clean runs through Parabolica because it's wet. You're going to skitter a little bit. Uh, anyways, in the pits now, Cedric Cortese rejoining the race. Um, not really the guy I'm looking for. The guy I'm looking for is Mark Sutherland. Uh, really. You could say maybe Neil, but Mark Sutherland is kind of the... Oh, no, he's staying out, so it is actually Neil Sutherland that I'm looking for. Turcott is through. Let's see here. Where's Neil? He's coming down the pit straight. Probably going to see me. Nope, he's going to see Turcott. So I come out behind him. So where am I? I'm definitely behind Simmons. He was way ahead of me. I probably am... I, I'd have to say I'm behind French, right? Um, so I'm behind Turcotte. But Turcotte pitted, so that's not helping me. Okay. There we go. So I come out in 10th uh, place ahead of Reader, who may or may not have pitted at this point. No, I'm showing... Ah, no, that can't be right. I'm showing his ahead of Neil Sutherland. That's that's wrong. He's got to be He's got to be ahead of me, right? Got to be. There we go. 11th place. And who ahead of me do I think has not pitted? Marcelo is not pitted because he uh, he wiped out earlier. I kind of thought he had pitted then, but I, I, he can't have pitted at this point. He's up in fourth place. That's that's wrong. And Mark Sutherland. So these, these are the two interesting people. Second and fourth place are the interesting people. Um, <clears throat> at, at least from at least from my point of view uh, right now. We're kind of we're waiting for them to pit, uh, and and more uh, more so Mark than Marcelo. Marcelo should be behind me, I would think, because he was stationary at the side of the track at one point. Oh, speaking of, speaking of the parabolic roughness, there it is again. Uh, a couple of people are in the pits. I don't know if they're the anyone that's going to be of interest to me. Let's see here. I am shown in tenth now. So who did I overtake? Marcelo and Sutherland are still out there. I overtook Turcotte. Interesting. Did he maybe put on dry tires or something in the pits? I'm up to ninth now. I'm not sure who I overtook. There's Turcotte. Stop, go, penalty, Tom Waz speeding in the pit lane. I'm not sure who else I've overtaken at this point. Because I still see Mark and Marcelo are circulating. We've got William Murrah behind me. He's much faster than me. So he'll probably... I also have one of the better pit stops, actually. Looking at the race app stats, I think I was like third or fourth fastest in the pit. So big, big double thumbs up there. Did a good job. Anyone, anyone in the pits for me to overtake? Nope, still ninth place. So we're still... Oh, that was my big screw-up for Redifilio this time. Or Primara, first, vi first Variante, whatever you want to call it. And then I screw up here a little bit. I think at this point the car felt very unstable. I had made... Um, I had made a tire modification... Uh, that I think ended up being the right one, but it, it meant that the tires kind of were a little bit out of the zone 
right this moment, so I was having a bit of a hard time controlling the car. It'd be nice if I could get the tire information up here, but I, I can't. Uh, so here's William Mer So here's the one. He's going to come up to me at, pro uh, for, at uh, Parabolica. And there's going to be contact. Hmm. Does not... We're not getting a great view of it there. Need... Better camera view. No, nah, I think he comes out to, into me. Let's hop on... Let's hop on board with him, maybe. Yeah, he's coming out into me. Which, I mean, again, understandable. I'm, pl I'm, I'm essentially playing the role of Scott Johnston here. Uh, when I said he should have let me through heading into Parabolica. But in this case, there's no blue flag. This is a battle for position. So that changes what should be done entirely. Um, but I think, I think that's more or less just a racing incident. I could be wrong. If you think I'm wrong, let, let me know in the comments below. We'll see if he reports me, of course. Anyways, so that keeps the spot for me for now. Matt Higgs gets a stop-go penalty. So that's a spot for me. Because Higgs was ahead of me. And... I'm shown in 8th place now. It'll be more than that because... I overtook Higgs. He was in the pits. Uh, we're waiting on a... Timing update. Who is that? That is Robert Arzumanian. Off the track. Rejoining. That's a blue flag car. It's not a problem. Gets the blue flag there. It lets me through at Curva Grande. Very considerate of him, actually. He really didn't have to do that. I think I think he he legitimately could have waited to like the straightaway. Uh, well, he didn't really have to get me let me through. Period. Um, but it is considered to do it under under in a wet conditions because it's a lot safer. But I think he could have held on to like. Um, maybe just breaking earlier for Rajia. And that would have done it. As opposed to letting me through a Curva Grande. I probably would have lost less time. But, uh... I appreciate it. I still haven't... We still haven't gotten a timing update because... Um... Oh, no, you know what? Higgs would have come out ahead of me. It's the stop-go penalty that's going to put him behind me. Never mind, I'm wrong. He has to actually serve the penalty before he ends up behind me. Right, right, right. Tom Laws also got one. Not that, not that we're battling with Tom Laws today, although uh, I was at the end of the Barcelona race after talking smack about I wouldn't be seeing the back of his Bentley all through the season, and, and there it was. Aha! So that was not great. A little bit late on the brakes into, Bar into Parabolica again. You can see the car struggling a little bit. Um, anyone in the pit lane? I don't see anybody in the pit lane. Uh, still waiting on Mark Sutherland to make a pit stop. He's the race leader. Uh, he has not pitted. So effectively, I may be as high as sixth place at this point because uh, Higgs has his penalty and Mark has a pit stop to make. Um, but I'm running an eighth. Uh, Zach Martin is behind me. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. And race uh, ACC decides to crash. We are not going to... Um, we are not going to start that all over again, though. I am keeping what's recorded. And we're just going to boot the game back up and go back in. We were, like, pretty near the end. Uh, this is what happens sometimes with ACC. I don't know what it is. Um, it doesn't do it on the racing rig as often. Although, the game has obviously crashed at various points uh, on me. So. It's not without its flaws, but it does seem like on this computer for some reason. And I don't really know why. The specs on this computer up here realistically should be more than enough to handle uh, the game. We gotta toggle the HUD back on and find me. And it 
it's not here. It's maybe here? No, no, Zach Martin's behind me. There we go. This is the lap we're on. I don't really know why it crashes so much. Um, it does seem to be particularly bad when it's being recorded, so maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe the fact that this is like just a little bit below the specs of that machine is causing the problem. Um, also, this, this machine has been acting up a little bit lately. Um, there's been a, a higher propensity for blue screens of death and so on from it. Um, if you wish to donate to the Build Bike a New Computer Fund, please do. <laughs> but it, it might be... It might be getting to time. But I don't know. It shouldn't be. It should not be. There's a couple of components I can obviously keep from it. The video card, for example, is actually quite new. Uh, hard drives and so on, but uh, maybe a new motherboard CPU combo might be in order. Wouldn't be that expensive, actually, I guess. Because the video card is often by far the, the big kicker when it comes to paying, and I, I do have a video card that I think is perfectly fine anyways working our way through here our uh our zooming in the background losing control of the car so higgs has been in for his penalty he served that i am now in sixth place and possibly running in the top five because mark sutherland is still out there having not pitted how far behind mark am i the problem with figuring that out is um unfortunately the oh he's in the pits okay We'll find out. Where is he? There he is. He's exiting the pits now, so it's going to be close. Where am I? There I am. There he is. Yeah! Fifth place, baby! And, no and more importantly, number one in silver. So I make my way through here again. And now I got Murrah on my tail. Where's Murrah? is he's battling with uh, Zach Martin here we go so up to fifth place shown in sixth but we saw me get past Mark Sutherland so fifth place there's the update crossing the timing line before Raja and not much time left uh, we're on lap 18 and I think we're only going to get 21, so we got 18, 19, 20, 21 left. So four, four laps. Maybe five. Um, let's hit the let's hit the boost here. Get the speed going a little bit more. Getting through, getting through. Bum, 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 bum. There has been a theory that this this PC has stopped has started performing a little bit awkwardly since I put new RAM, since I added some extra RAM into it. So there is maybe a thought that I should just get new RAM, put that in, see what happens. Maybe I'll do that for my birthday. Um, the RAM in there is kind of shitty, but the motherboard can't really support much more speed, so I'd be slowing down good RAM. But buy good RAM and it's ready for the next uh, it's ready for the next rig maybe an option here. just kind of waiting for murder to appear in my rear view because spoiler he coming oh yeah and he's got to deal with Mark Sutherland first I think is he ahead of Mark he is oh here we go this is what so Mark had something happen here what happened? Ah, looks like he just tripped himself up. I was kind of wondering that live. Uh, and at this point I was thinking, maybe get it, like, looking for Murrah penalties, because <clears throat> at this point again, I'm thinking I have a five second penalty. So... 
I'm I'm kind of treating as if he doesn't even have to overtake me. He's going to, unless I can find a penalty, unless he gets a penalty, he's already beaten me at this point. So that, that was my brain thought, and I was like, Sutherland vanished, and I was kind of like, oh, is that my gravy? And then, uh, turns out, no. Mark just hit the curb too hard, and uh, ended up with the penalty. By the way, the fact that Mura is catching up to me again, despite having had a drive-through penalty, does kind of emphasize the difference in pace. Uh, at this point, he was about two to three seconds a lot faster than me. He was really, he was really cooking it up here in the drying conditions. Um, I'd have to look it up, but I, I imagine it, it had to be some of the, some of the best, um, some of the best times anyone was posting at this point. So into the last lap we go. At this point, I was cursing the leader for getting an extra lap in. Max Simmons, Dan French, Cortese, Neil Sutherland. Neil's having a really good season at BMW M4. And M4 is the car to beat. It did get BOP'd recently. Got some negative uh, buffing. But it's still very, very good. Very good. And we're now under pressure here as of Ragia. Heading through Lesmo 1. Lesmo 2. I think he's going to get me at a Scari. So, spoiler, but I think he gets me. I think he gets me before Ascari. Yeah, here we are. Side by side. There we are. Into Variante Ascari. I don't really challenge him on it. I think I probably could have tried to challenge it, but it would have been messy. And like I said, with me with me probably looking at a penalty, I don't think that there's any I don't think there's any point to me fighting that out. Uh, I think it's just dangerous for me. And then I follow him to the end. And Murrah's got himself, at least on paper, a fifth place finish. Uh, and of course, I lost time. That is going to get John Archie into my penalty window. Um, you're going to see the time up update here. Murrah, me, and then I'm waiting for John Archie to finish there he is 4.4 back so if I get a tier 1 penalty it'll promote Archie if he doesn't get a penalty I think I'm okay with Marcelo yeah Marcelo is like 12 seconds back I'd have to get a tier 3 penalty to put me back there but probably a 7th place finish which is a good comeback from last race where because of the drive through penalty um a kind of low-end top 10 maybe was on the cards, but, uh, or at least like a top 15. Wound up being, I think, I want to say 22nd place. So, so, so getting back up there and getting this sixth place penalty to probably a seventh was pretty good. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this format. It's something I could do more of. Um, but I think the live racing is more way more fun than this but it's up to you the audience what you think so check that out uh coming up on the youtube channel i'm gonna be doing another episode of BattleTech. i'm also gonna be bringing some super mega baseball from the gronks franchise onto the channel next week i'm gonna do something called like game of the week or something where i play like a particularly important game on youtube as opposed to twitch uh, is something I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do. So uh, we'll see you then. And uh, for racing, nothing this weekend. Um, it's the off week for the um, Super Series community events, uh, and then it's also the off week for 3D Speed, obviously. So yeah, it'll be a little bit quiet on the Mio on board front. But uh, there's that. And then of course over on ESR, there's gonna be the usual commentary stuff and um stewarding videos so check that out but have a good day i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go take advantage of pc points day where you get bonus points and uh, you can trade those points for dollars off your groceries yay um although this does mean that i'm gonna have a bunch of frozen pizzas and that's gonna be horrible for my diet so there is that Oh, well.